Greetings to my team of 144 and all star seeds, love workers, and way shores. It is 12142019, December 14, 2019. Another day and night of massive energetic waves coming in. I experienced three separate waves last night uh, through the 13th, Friday the 13th portal. And it was actually more intense for myself than even the 12, 12, 12. I was out for about nine hours and lived out several three timelines. I also connected a very deep level with one of the most ancient twin flames, which was very intense and powerful and very overwhelming even to come back into this realm. And then lived out a couple other timelines of energetic resonance. We can call them different resonance of energetic waves. Today also, I was witness to great beauty coming through the field. So we are witness to this great shift that we're going through. Also today, felt like the etheric wings ready to rip through and out my back. And I know, brothers and sisters of the light, we're all ready to take flight, to rise up, to fly freely. We're right on the precipice, right on the verge of this great breakthrough. As the veils are lifting, we're being fully activated. Through these galactic activation portals daily now, we're all in this together. We are in unity consciousness. Today the Schumann was at 11 hertz, symbolizing the 1111 gateway, the 11 portal energies. Also, within the last 8 hours, it is 8.22 p.m. Eastern Time. Within the last 8 hours, there were 4... 44 4.4 magnitude earthquakes so the 444 one in russia one in greece one in the celebs sea which is in between indonesia and philippines right on the ring of fire the whole ring of fire was active today over around 106 earthquakes in the last 24 hours m 1.5 or greater there was also a 4.4 in Chile about an hour ago, 4.5 in Kuril Islands. We had a 4.9 in Southeast Asia, 4.6 Fiji, China 4.6, Puerto Rico 3.0. Most of these are around the Ring of Fire, around the Pacific Ocean. So we're all feeling these energies, this shaking up the resonance. So let us know what you're feeling, experiencing through these galactic portals as we transition into the 1221 2112 energies of the solstice in seven days seven days from this recording a week from today and then the ring of fire eclipse on the 26th which will be 12 days 12 12 12 another the 1221 the third of the 333 transitioning into the four of the December 30th, 4th, 333 portal. Today's first transmission from Grace Solaris and the Arcturians, Gateway Freedom Codes. The biggest hoax ever created is the illusion of time and death. Because of the fall out of grace with the sinking of the continents, the ancient motherland of Lemuria and Atlantis, and with it the ancient wisdom, the first light, a cataclysmic disaster within the human as well as the planetary body caused us to fall into deep amnesia. It is now time to release yourself from this mind control programming. You have come so far and a global awakening is taking place. And yet, most of us, are, if we are honest with ourselves, are still caught in the fake programming. It is time for the children of earth to rise again and claim their eternity their divine sovereignty as eternal beings of love and reconnecting with their original divine source blueprint of the first light of Lemuria, which was the very light that created this planet and all life upon it and gave birth to the first Lemuria in the time of Hyperborea. 
My guides made me laugh out loud as I was contemplating what I have said since my early teens. I am going to get at least 150 years old. My guides then promptly interrupted me and said, Why not 300 years old? They said, in fact, you can be as old as you choose to be. You can even create a new body if that is what you choose. You are eternal and that is your true nature. All else is an illusion. The question should rather be, do I choose love over fear? Do I choose to transcend all the limitations that have been programmed into my being of linear time, decay, and death? You, and here I refer to your soul, might want to leave your current vessel, physical body, for certain reasons when you have fulfilled your mission here, but that is a whole other story. As many of you already know, you have been held hostage in the karmic wheel of suffering for the last 30,000 plus years, which is an ancient programming of the Piscean Age. Yes, every thought, every action has a cause and effect in the web of life, as everything is interconnected. Thus the urgency to choose love, choose what honors the whole, as everything is interconnected. However, you are not bound to die. Death as well as time is an illusion. Life is not linear. Creations births itself again and again through circles within circles, in a spiral dance of love, making love to itself, replicating itself in myriad of ways, and never gets tired of this wondrous magic of creating new ways of experience itself through evolving and creating new worlds, new life in every possible form and way. And you are that, you are creation itself. It is impregnated within your original divine blueprint DNA, the undistorted light, the first light of source. However, for forces that did not honor this light, that however was created from this light, made choices for their own agenda, that did not honor the universal light and law of one. They created distortions in the DNA and implanted in the collective mind what you named the Gregorian calendar, a time device that has aimed to hold you bondage in linear time and separate you from the sacred breath of creation and the universal heartbeat of your very soul's essence. It created the distorted programming of going from A to B with no way of deviating, a destined path of suffering leading to an inevitable death, a death sentence that no one could escape, not even the ancient yogis. They could merely prolong their life. This programming has also caused your cells, as well as the toroidal field around you, to spin in a forward clockwise movement, which is the very reason that you decay and die. It literally gives this information to your cells. The natural spin of creation is a counterclockwise spin. It is the magnetics and the molecular nature of the creation itself to spin in this way. The Arcturians already introduced us to this wisdom through an activation last year called the cell repolarization where they reverse this programming and the spinning in the cells this will be part of this reset and activation that the arcturians offer on the 1212 gateway from this is from grace solaris and the arcturians and from ascension energies through ananda gates to freedom and embodied sovereignty are wide open make sure you are not playing mind games with yourself Opportunities for incredible embodiment are here. Support and co-creative divine alignments are here. Step into your power now. Do not wait on anything or anyone. Your divine partnership is anchored and consecrated once you are walking in your soul purpose fully, actively. Now is the time to release any remnants of lower dimensional constructs of separation consciousness. Arrive here now, in form, claim the vessel, claim the flesh as a sacrament to our Mother, Father, God. Ground crew team is ready to hold each other through the embodiment. We have been training for this for thousands of years. It's mission time. May we realize unity. Be honest with yourself. Immaculate nutrition, immaculate self-care, fitness, purity, and integrity in everything. Choose your highest trajectory now and do not look back. Whoever is meant to join you will join you. Anyone on the twin flame journey, if your divine beloved truly is incarnated here with you, his or her highest wish for you is to release everything and walk in your highest truth so you realize the meaning of union. Unify within yourself. This is your promise to the Hieros Gamos Ananda. 
And from Elizabeth Peru, something special has just occurred. One of the last great cosmic influences of this decade is underway, causing us to feel an inner push to clear up and clean out all areas of our life as 2020 rapidly approaches. From ElizabethPeru.com And for December 15th through December 20th, with the gene keys, the gene codes, the gene keys through Richard Rudd, unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your DNA, December 15th through December 20th, Gene Key 11, The Light of Eden. And how appropriate as we're going through this shift from the false matrix into the new Eden, the new earth. Sometimes a mistake is pure gold, so we needn't beat ourselves up. A mistake that shows us our tendency towards the inessential, towards something that hooks our beliefs, can be a massive wake-up call. We must strive for the highest most outlandish ideal, and then all our energies begin to organize themselves around that ideal. That is how the eleventh gift works. Our ideal energizes us, it illuminates us, it enlightens us. It gets us out of bed in the morning with enthusiasm. It's the mental, emotional, and physical shell into which we pour all our highest aspirations. The eleventh way, the gift of idealism. Gene Key 11, Light, New Eden, Idealism, Obscurity, The Light of Eden, Programming Partner 12, Purity, Discrimination, Vanity, Peace, Earth Over Heaven. The eleventh shadow is a veritable minefield of lost dreams, escapist behavior, denial, guilt, and repression. If you could just begin to trust in the images that come to you in your dreams and allow them to incubate in your imagination, you would begin to emerge from the false dream that you have placed yourself in. To awaken out of such a state is a vast experience. It is to step out of the illusion of the rest of the world and to tread a new kind of path that is at odds with the majority. It is the step that you must one day take to move from the eleventh shadow into the eleventh gift. When you finally make this courageous inner leap, the dream that has been hidden inside you for so long shakes you awake and introduces you to a new and boundless horizon. And from the Yi Ching, the eleventh code, the eleventh hexagram, is peace, Unio mystica of heaven and earth, anchoring the light within the body to see the world as it truly is. Light is the unity of beauty. Idealism is orienting freshness. Obscurity is the dislocation of entropy, receiving creation. The intercourse of heaven and earth, the image of harmony. The wise ruler models his laws upon the principles of heaven and earth, and enforces them for the people's benefit. And that's from Richard Rudd, Gene Keys. And today from the Zolkin Times, Blue Crystal Eagle. Crystal is the name for the number 12, and its key words are dedication, cooperation, and universalize. So it's the 12th day of the Yellow Seed Wave Spell, and the last portal day of the 10 we have in a row. The 12th day is all about getting together and cooperating with one another, Think of it like a barn-raising day when all your neighbors come to help. Many hands make light work. So much can be accomplished when working together. Today is Blue Eagle, which represents creativity, mind, and vision. Eagle is good at showing you the whole picture. Stepping back, or rather flying high, in order to have a better perspective. This facilitates vision, which in turn inspires creativity. Eagle also shows us to be creative and problem-solving. And from Christina Papagiorgio, Blue Crystal Eagle, Kin 155, 14 December 2019, 14 12 2019, 14 3 3, equal 5 3 3, equal 11, equal 2, 14 media number, promotion, recognition, 5 change, transformation, freedom, 3 holy trinity, divinity, creativity, and joy. 11. Portal, Duality, Doorway. 2. Partnership, Twins, Cooperation. Kin 155 equal 11, double 11 code. The last of 10 successive 
galactic activation portal days falls on an 1111 code, so we finish our gap journey with a bang. And also this synchronizes with the 11 hertz frequency band of the Schumann resonance today. Day 12 is the yellow seed wave spell of awakening, flowering, new beginnings, ripening, opening to more light and blossoming into your highest potential. Today we are coming together as a community to share our visions of the future with, our, with others seeding our highest potential timelines. The tone of creation, crystal, tone 12 in the mental realm, action, universalizes, power, dedicates, essence, cooperation. The crystal tone 12 is the highest level of the mind, the mental realm. The other two mental tones are the tone 4, self-existing, and the tone 8, galactic. Yesterday we focused on dissolving and releasing any residual emotions and fears in order to liberate our magic and our dreams. Through the space and freedom engendered by the spectral phase of disillusion and release, new space is created for something new to emerge. At the crystal level of mind, we have the capacity to cooperate or operate with other minds. Just as a crystal can be programmed, so too can we program our minds on this day. So focus on the crystal clarity of our minds today through the power of cooperation with others. Share your visions, share your ideas, and share your solutions. A day of greater connection to each other through our precious hearts and to Mother Gaia. Today is a fabulous day to connect and play with your crystal allies, particularly the Lemurian seed quartz, crystal balls, and scrying implements. The Kashuk reading or even quantum jumping, as the eagle provides a brilliant means for accessing future potentials. We can be the seer. Today, looking ahead to see which timelines do not support us, collapsing disharmonious, disharmonious ones and erasing any negative energies and hindrances we or others have projected into our future. Clear, erase, delete all of those, projecting crystal clear images and holograms into our future timelines, seeing the world we wish to co-create in all its glory setting forth powerful intentions of energizing and super-activating and most benevolent outcomes. Take a minute to meditate and visualize this. You are the seer and you are the creator. Take responsibility now for all that you are seeding. Discipline and determination through positive focusing will get us to our desired destiny. Magic gives us the power to heal the world enabling us to accomplish our greatest vision of community and peace on earth. Today's question is what future visions am I co-creating and collectively seeding with my community? Divine blessings for projecting the most beautiful rainbows into our glorious visions of our new world. Mission accomplished. Star seeds, take a bow. From the Dream Spell Journey by Volum Votan and Balonik. Kin 155, the crystal vision. Today's Kin 155, crystal eagle, 12 eagle, marks the last galactic activation portal gap of the 10 consecutive gap days contained within the yellow seed wave spell. Therefore, today is the omega day of the 10 omega gaps of the Zolkin matrix. 14 December 2019, NS 1.32. Point six point two Kin 155, Blue Crystal Eagle, Galactic Activation Portal, the mantra, the code for the day is, I dedicate in order to create universalizing mind, I seal the output of vision with the crystal tone of cooperation, I am guided by the power of accomplishment, I am a Galactic Activation Portal, enter me. So there we have it. Brothers and sisters of the light, another day of galactic activations. Let us know in the comments below the video what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your visions, your dreams. I appreciate it, each and every one of you. Thank you for your likes, sharing these videos, your comments. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Many people are telling me that they're being unsubscribed or they're not getting uh, my updates in their news feed so if you click the subscribe and then the little bell 
that should assist in getting notifications of future updates. I try to put these transmissions out every day with these updates and daily transmissions. So thank you for joining us. I'd like to also thank everyone that is joining us on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America, in the foothills of the Andes. This is in the beginning stages, research and development. We are looking for land with a sacred cave and natural hot springs. So if you know of this land for sale in southern Ecuador, please let us know at info at primedisclosure.com. If you'd like to learn more about this mission for the he- blueprint for the healing retreat and sustainable communities around this world, the first of our mission will be in Ecuador. You can find out more about this on primedisclosure.com and click on Dao de Ecuador at the top of the page. So tomorrow I will be connecting in a private session meeting with the Divine 44, my closest team, that we're working on these final missions together through this ascension process. So I'll let you know on these updates. I plan on the beginning of the year. I'm working with about 37 light workers, warriors of the light that I've been initiating and activating in the lineage that I teach, ancient Taoist divine alchemy of the Kunlun lineage through my Sifu, Ching Feng Dao Shi, many other practices and the Divine 44. They're all healers, teachers, guides. They will be the guides and healers and teachers of the Healing Retreat Center. So I'll be, be bringing them all to you. You can connect with them in the beginning of 2020, 2020. So I'll be sharing their healing practices with all of you in the near future. More of this will be coming out very soon in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned, beloved beings of light. Thank you for joining us today. Keep walking your path with heart and shining your light brightly into the night. Have a beautiful and blessed day and night. I love you all. Namaste.